Welcome to TradingBI.com. This is John Supports for the 13th of December. Well, Friday market just closed and obviously continuation with Magenta actually pushing above the red. So very consistent. And again, we talked about this as long as we were above the ABM yellow. Um, everything was good from a long side view. And that was above the 57 level. So sure enough. Boom, nice move. Um, everything's still consistent. Green still over uh, cyan on the DOC. No change from that. And of course, option expiration, you know, close right around that 4,700. From a YM standpoint, similar. No real change from that. And then from the NQ standpoint, um, a red DOC slightly ahead uh, from a daily, but we just had the crossover of green over cyan. So just no real short interest whatsoever. Euro not doing anything, still flat. Uh, again, Eurozone's not changed in gold, uh, not moving uh, as well, even though there's just plenty of uh, <laughs> concern about inflation continuing as well as uh, well, getting back up to that 50% level, uh, we do see weight popping up, so maybe that will present a little bit of weakness, uh, just as we're seeing uh, cyan moving above green on the DOC, so that's going to create some headwinds for it to, to push forward. Uh, Bitcoin, still having difficulties here. Every time it's popping, it's moving right back to that previous algo 47, and that becomes critical because uh, break below that 47, and uh, things could get uh, a lot more interesting from a flush out standpoint because there's quite a range uh, going lower uh, from that point. So, we're going to see how many Bitcoin bulls there are to drive things forward. And uh, interesting too with um, Ethereum uh, breaking below the 4K. Uh, did it just briefly for a little bit, uh, found some range there, but um, potentially could come right back to that area after having been uh, deep low. We didn't have any real major dips below uh, the red line on that. We had a dip below the red line and then the green uh, when it reached the new low. So you had a divergence to the upside from that uh, viewpoint. But uh, interesting that uh, cryptos are struggling so much uh, within what is the new bull for <laughs> the end of year uh, constructs. And from a 50K standpoint, it's just been back and forth. Um, and that's always difficult because it doesn't really capture enough range to do anything. Because um, you're looking for a little bit longer, so you usually get a little bit of uh, sideways drawdowns in, in those kind of setups until we can capture a new run going through. Um, from an options as Friday, as well as just a you know, normal trade, this is a little more volume uh, than we have seen, but every time we ended up with uh, cell configuration, uh, we traded a little bit uh, softer in this one because we really didn't have any white uh, spike movement. Uh, there was a little earlier one right here, and then we kind of continued sideways. That gave the move to the 50%. Um, secondarily, when it popped up again, uh, that one moved to uh, rising uh, 0% and actually worked down a little bit further than that. And then a um, little bit mid-afternoon caught the buy from just about that... Uh, what is it, about 68 or uh, 71. And from that point, it was just that race back to the 4,700, clearing the options right around that thing for no value. Um, it's still pretty good from a candle standpoint, uh, stayed green within there with that brief dip right there. And then uh, just as it was looking like there was potential short, because all we did was fill positive extremes from uh, just right back here that it started. And once those were cleared, Magenta moves back above and that was just a race right back to the top as the day closed out. So it's clean and simple. Um, candles represented it nicely. As always though, uh, anything relevant or new, I will certainly uh, update and put on the Skype chat. Uh, this is rather boring action because it was all pretty clean. So it wasn't anything unique to put out there. But as always, trade well and talk to you later.